direction. Yes. Right so. so that leads to my second question, which regards the time management. So that's a big topic, big issue. A lot of um, I think not even moms, just professional musicians mm -hmm. in general. Yes. We have to deal with the time limit that we have. You know, whether it's on a daily basis or. You know, how, how long do I have until this concert, kind of? So let's talk a little bit about that. Sure, I think that, I think the first thing to remember is it is so individual. Yeah. Every one of us right. handles our time differently mm -hmm. and there's no right way to do it. So I think it's really helpful to talk to each other and make sure that we might get an idea from someone else, mm -hmm. but also to never feel that if we decide that we need to do it a different way, that that makes it any less valid. Right. Because it has to be what works for you. Mm -hmm just as it worked for me and yeah. I'm sure yeah. each one of you. But I think in terms of time management, I think practice efficiency is yeah. absolutely key. I don't think I ever learned to practice as efficiently as I did until after I right. had my children. Me too. Yeah, Sometimes right, you yeah. have five minutes before yeah. the baby wakes right. up <laughs> and that's all you had. And so those five minutes better have been really, really worth good. it yes, <laughs> because right. they might have yeah. been the only five minutes you had all day perhaps, yeah. you know, and obviously there are days when it feels different. Right. I think it's also really good to ask for help. You know, that's could you have somebody true. to play yes. with your baby yeah. so that I can go to another room for yeah. 90 minutes and mm -hmm. do what I need to do? There's no shame in doing that. Yeah. You know, can obviously, you know, partner, dad, wife, whoever, somebody help take care of my child mm -hmm. while I need to do what I have to do right. for a certain amount of time. And yeah. again, I think it's just a very individual thing. So for me, right. it was always small chunks of time. Mm -hmm. That's how I got my best work done and yeah. just really learning the best ways to practice quickly. Right. To learn especially new things. Yeah, the efficiency, how to achieve the maximum amount mm -hmm. within that limited time window that you have and also, yeah, true about asking for help because I was very self-conscious I couldn't ask for example my neighbor nice uh -huh. lady you know I think if you're in a pinch you yeah. really can't yes. ask yeah. and um, also I guess in a situation like at Brevard you know that is just the wonderful one of the very very great things about Brevard there are so many other musicians and so many other musician moms that we yes. all understand each other right so mm -hmm. I think having a community like that is really important absolutely but it doesn't happen, right? I didn't have any, I don't have actually musician friends who have young kids that I can relate right. to. So that's why I love being here every summer. Um, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, but I think sometimes they don't need to be musicians, right? right? That's how they Just learn, even moms, how we are. Yeah, Just right. some other good friend moms right. that you say, mm -hmm. I have to do this for myself, yeah. and I'm sure they would understand that right. as well for s something else. Yeah, Swapping time, we used to do that a lot. That's right. I'll take your baby, you take my baby. Right. You know, two different yeah. days, we both get something done. Sometimes I've heard people doing the baby co-op. Mm. <laughs> I've heard of that, I've not done it. I haven't either. It's a good idea <laughs> yes. you can... You, you can have that, they'll be lucky. But what about you? How did you learn, manage new things? Well, I think all of us have this yeah. in common that we don't have family near right. around My family live. is in Korea. Yes. <laughs> Mine yeah. is in India. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and we're yours. across the country, yes. at least in this, in this country, yeah, yeah, but yeah. as far away as you can get right. in this country. Right. Um, and also kind of new to mm -hmm. where I live, and I don't really have too many friends, kind of like building, building. But yes, certainly when my daughter was born, we didn't really have a support yeah. system, so I think the thing that was key was the very short bursts mm -hmm. of practice, wherever yes. you could squeeze it in, um, five minutes, ten minutes, mm -hmm. fifteen minutes there, and uh, honestly, that's a better way to learn anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Because the more right. touches you have with the material, yeah. it gets absorbed into your brain yeah, in a right. better way, and if you do it well and do it properly but very few times it's better than hammering away at it yeah. anyway yeah. so embrace your new challenges Absolutely. from being a parent and yeah. it makes you better at practice it makes you better at learning music mm -hmm. um more efficient more quick yes. and the one thing that i thought was the biggest completely unpredictable blessing mm -hmm. in disguise for me was about these frequent touches mm -hmm. i had several very big new roles to learn, one in French, one in Russian, the first year um, after becoming a mom. And of course, I was up every two hours overnight nursing. Oh. <laughs> and I used to just rock in the dark and nurse and just go over my text over and over and over again. Wow. At 
at 11 and then at right. 1 and then at 3 and then so I had actually oh way more practice time with it, just the memorizing of the text yeah. aspect which is a part that takes a long time when you're learning a new role as a singer so I weirdly benefited from uh -huh. having yes. no choice but to wake up several times overnight right. when I was preparing these operas because uh -huh. I wouldn't have had as many experiences right. speaking through my text right. if I were sleeping all night long so right. I'm kind of thankful for that. Yeah. That's great and also uh, the reason that I thought about this question is because actually a few students that I know mm. who have um, very young child children, three months or four months, that's really, I think, difficult yes. time. And just out of desperation, they asked, how did you practice when your son was this young? And so I thought about how did I really do this? And I think just as you said, it's the short mm -hmm. spurt of time that you have. But also sometimes I just had to make myself just go away. You know, like yes. I just have to go. It's too important yes. and try not to feel too guilty mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. taking my own time because I think that's sometimes difficult for some people more than others sure. um, and also you know sometimes he was bouncing of course, oh, right? <laughs> oh, that's actually I used to bounce a lot, yeah. it's very true. Daring yes. the bouncer, making noise and I'm just trying to practice my ligeti <laughs> or cage or whatever <laughs> I was doing. Uh, so that was the other thing. And so if I go away, sometimes I go away at 9 p.m. or 10 mm -hmm. p.m. and I stay until midnight at school right. to practice. And of course I'm super tired, but like what am I going to do, right? So sometimes you just, that's your only yes, option. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think you just do what you can. Sure. It would be. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was thinking one more thing. As your children get older and uh -huh. mine are a little bit older than yours yeah. at this point, I think it's also really nice to involve them. They get to learn, you know what? My mom has to take the time to do what she needs to do. I need to be able to play around and do right. something right. for 20 minutes, you yes. know? I would, as they got older, sometimes put on a timer and say, look at the clock. When it reaches this time, yeah. I will be done. But until then, I'd That's like right. you to timer. play. I'd like I, you to play on your own That's and, you know, right. Yeah. Or even have them right there uh -huh. and maybe talk to them and say, oh, this is really difficult and uh -huh. mommy has to practice a little bit longer, uh -huh. you know. So they start to even know what you're doing. Yeah. So you're not, sometimes you have to remove yourself and I think sometimes you just involve them and then it becomes part of how they grow up. Yeah. And it's much easier to do if you start doing it at that a very early age, true. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They understand that's what mommy does. Mm -hmm. I shall yes. not bother her. <laughs> I just go along with it. And I also have seen um, on campus sometimes if you can't find a babysitter and your husband's busy or away, the child just sits there Yes. in the lesson. Mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. Maybe I, reading yeah. something, yeah. watching something, whatever it is, I think that's totally okay. I think that's the other thing, that it is okay, right? Why? Everything is okay. Yeah, everything is okay. That's right. Yeah. And I guess that's one big lesson, um, just... For me, at least, the big lesson that I learned from being a mom, that's the other question. Um, so let's, let me just move on to that. So mm -hmm. what is a very big lesson that you otherwise would have not learned in life? It's a big, big question, but what would that be? What would you say for being a mom and the musician? Um, what did that teach you? I think it relates to what we were just talking about. I, the, yeah. It's a, awesome. I think... Um, before you become a parent, there's a little bit of selfishness uh -huh. involved with this pursuit uh -huh. of being a professional musician, not in a bad way, yeah. but just that you spend a lot of time mm -hmm. thinking about yourself, your practice, your career, your technique, all of these things. And I think, of course, it, by nature, when you become a parent, that just gets totally refocused mm -hmm. onto something else and I hope that everybody will embrace the fact that I think it makes you a better musician mm -hmm. when you strip <laughs> away the selfishness uh -huh. because you become so much more rich and interesting mm -hmm. and well-rounded and people will notice in your yeah. playing and in your singing that something has matured, Absolutely. something is more interesting, something is just more robust about your playing or your yes. singing, yeah. whether you notice it or, or not, yeah. you know, but others do. I agree. As you mature and as you have these life experiences, it only makes you better, better. at I music. Yeah. I think also you get a certain amount of freedom 
from yeah. knowing that life is bigger than the one a flat that was perhaps you know a little bit out of tune right. Right. and something that you might obs have obsessed over for uh -huh. a long time yes. you know or a wrong note that comes out but you, you just learn that there's so many things that have just started moving around in your life that are completely different and mm -hmm. you have to be able to go on no matter what mm -hmm. occasionally with a sick child occasionally you've had to leave a screaming baby at home but you had to go to your concert yes mm -hmm. it happens and it, again, guilt-free, it is what you have to do, uh -huh. right? But you go into it, and then I think that the music almost seems so much freer to me now. Uh -huh. Right. And I feel like, I, you know, the periods of time I've had with less practice, sometimes I play my best because I, I know that all I have is what I can present in that moment, right? right? Yeah. And so I'm just able to fully immerse at that time and just hopefully bring more music to whoever my audience is or more energy to my lessons okay. because it, I think it just becomes one part of a much bigger picture. Yes, totally agree. absolutely. That's beautiful. Well, I think I'm going to move on to the next question in the next video. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in our next segment soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>